Hey guys, Wesson Sarasota here. Uh, day five of the coronavirus outbreak, and I'm checking in to, you know, kind of update you on everything that's going on in and around the area. And again, touching my face, but I did wash my hands, so remember that. Um, so apparently, two people here in Florida who contracted the coronavirus have now effectively died, passed away, God rest their souls. And I've been punching the numbers a little bit because they keep telling us this is at like a 1%, less than 1% death rate, blah, blah, blah. And yet, everywhere I look and kind of, you know, use the calculator, punch the numbers a little bit, the death rate seems to be anywhere between 7 to 10%. Right now we have just over, oh God, what was I just saw? It. Just over 100 something cases and already several deaths, so... The numbers work here. I punched them for Germany and Italy and all that. And everywhere I look, it's it's between a, a five to ten percent death rate. I don't know where they're getting this one percent from. Probably because they're using the skewed Chinese numbers. Anyway, just more of a reason to truly protect yourself, wash your hands, be aware of your situations, try not to touch anything unnecessarily, especially your face after you've you know possibly touched anything. Um, what else was there? Oh, good news. The uh, co-worker whose mother had been hospitalized it, it seems like you know thankfully that that was a um oh what's the word not the right call <laughs> she's she is being released she seems to be you know on the mend so thank god for that and you know i'm really happy for him and his family so yeah last night at work was was kind of you know crazy went in found out his mom was doing good and it's like all right yes you know maybe this isn't as crazy as i had thought and then Later on in the evening, I find out that uh, another co-worker might have been exposed to it. So at this point, it's just kind of already become par for the course where, oh, this person might know someone who's exposed and transmitting it here, there, everywhere. It's, it seems to already be a part of daily life and we're less than a week into it. It's just, the you know, everyone is around someone who might have been exposed by someone and, you know, that's really the, the truly scary part. It's like you just, you don't know where it is. You could... Go to the store, touch a handrail, bam, you got it. You could be walking around, someone coughs near you, now you got it. You know, so again, don't touch your face, don't, just keep your hands clean, be vigilant. Um, gee, I feel like there was something else I want to tell you about. Anyway, if I can remember it, I'll, I'll shout it out to you. Otherwise, I just really want to kind of talk about, you know, the what I think is the underscoring of the, the death rate of this thing. I, I think it's higher than they're letting us know. I think they're doing that to, you know, obviously keep panic and things of that nature at a minimum. But I truly believe it, it it's far deadlier than, than what they're telling us, unfortunately. I, I still believe it's mostly going to affect people just like the flu, you know, people with compromised immune systems, the elderly, the young, things of that nature. So, you know, most likely I'm safe, although I do believe the doctor in China who contracted it and passed away from it was only 34, so a few years younger than I am. Uh, so, you know, a couple things you can do, you know, stay active, stay healthy, eat your vitamins, stay hydrated, you know, all that good stuff that you're supposed to do anyway for an active, healthy lifestyle. Just keep practicing it, stay vigilant, and, uh, you know, again, today, I feel good, no sniffles, no headache, no fever, nothing like that, so... I feel like I'm in the clear or I'm still just uh, asymptomatic at this point. Either way, feeling good and uh, I'll catch you later. Peace out.